Hey, what is up guys? My name is Alan and have you ever wondered what kind of speed difference you can get between using different type of drives, you know, a hard drive, 7200 RPM hard drive, or maybe a SATA SSD or an M.2 SSD, or maybe you're using kind of like an external USB into a hard drive, or maybe you want your PCIe slot to be an M.2 SSD and you want to see if there's a speed between um, speed difference between an M.2 slotted directly to your motherboard or when using a PCIe adapter. Well, I'll be honest with you first, I don't have everything here in this room available, you know. Um, I don't have Gen 4, Gen 5 even drives, and I don't have more expensive adapters or more expensive external USB to hard drive. And um, yeah, so you're probably wondering, what do I have? Well, I still have a lot. So let me tell you exactly what I have. So we're gonna be doing a lot of tests. I'm gonna show it to you all later. This video would be pretty quick and fast, hopefully. Um, but my main drive, main hard drive that we're using here is the ST1000DM003. That's kind of like the hardware number of it, but it's a Seagate hard drive, a pretty basic one. 7200 RPM, still works well, still works great. And we're gonna be trying it in RAID 0 as well. This is still both hard drives. This is the Seagate hard drive plus a Toshiba hard drive. Next in the list would be an M.2 SSD. Again, Gen 3 speeds. That's all I have in this room. I'm sorry. And um, I'm using the NX 1 terabyte 2280. So yeah, we're going to be trying that out on a RAID 0 setup as well with a Kingston SSD. M.2 both slotted to the motherboard. RAID 0, by the way, before I go further in this video, RAID 0, of course, combining two drives, but those two drives are being combined via Windows. So it's not the best possible RAID 0. The best possible RAID 0 would be two identical SSDs or M.2 SSDs that you combine in your motherboard's BIOS. But the thing with using Windows RAID, I've already explained this on a different video I'll put, it's somewhere in the screen right now. But in that video, I explained to you what's the difference in RAIDs and what's the difference between a BIOS RAID and the one that you create on Windows. But making one on Windows itself, you can basically use any drives and you can combine them. And if you plug them both in a different PC, it should be scanned as a single drive still, unlike um, the motherboard BIOS kind of which is basically bound to just your system. We're moving to the next one. We have an external hard drive. Again, we're still using the Seagate drive here, but at USB 3.0 speeds, we're using Orica Bay, um, Drive Bay, and um, yeah, that's about it. Now we're also using a random PCIe to M.2 NVMe adapter. I actually did install Windows on this PCIe adapter once, so I'll talk more about that in my personal channel. Links on the video description. And lastly, we have two more. Um, one, wherein we accelerated the Seagate hard drive with a 32 gig, 3000 megahertz RAM at CL16, and also SSD caching that same drive as well. So we have a total of eight tests for this video. So this should be a pretty quick one, pretty fast one, hopefully. Oh, and before I forget, we're using Crystal Disk, um, Crystal Disk Mark, I think, bench for benchmarking the drives. And uh, it's basically the only application that I actually properly use to just see the numbers for how fast a drive can go. I'll tell you more about it later, but speed doesn't really matter that much above SSD speeds, even say the SSD speeds. Um, but yeah, let's continue on the time-lapse. Just some quick notes here. The M.2 that I use on the PCIe to M.2 is actually the same one as the Kingspec NX1 TB, but it's the 500 gig version. But sadly, it is slotted on the slowest PCIe slot on my motherboard. That's why it's very comparable to some SATA SSD speeds. And it's also the same SSD that I use for my hard drive cache using Primo cache. That's why the speeds are pretty much the same. I know I could have also used the same hard drives and same SSDs for the RAIDs here, which would probably yield better results, but this is what I have. And this is probably what the mass majority of people also has, like not super enthusiasts. This video is made for the general, you know, people who just want to watch some speed differences. It's not super accurate, not super scientific, but it should provide a general day-to-day -day use case of how you know, the speed difference are. 
Now I know before anyone else hops into the comment section, I know I've already told you I don't have everything in this room. I could have tested um, SATA SSDs. I don't use them anymore. And frankly, it's either M.2s or just hard drive for a lot of, you know, media file storage or whatsoever. And maybe I could have thrown in a Gen 4 drive, but my current motherboard doesn't support it. But don't worry, I'll be updating my motherboard soon. So watch out for that video. And um, yeah, maybe even made a hardware raid, but I already told you don't have it. You know, both of my drives aren't really that similar to become a raid from the BIOS. Or maybe I could have used a faster RAM for Primo Cache, but I didn't. This is what I have. And, you know, this is more or less kind of like um, a video that I wanted to create because I want to see for myself what's the speed difference. And you've seen the speed difference. Not by much, except for, of course, hard drive and SSDs. But other than that, and of course, external HDD, other than that, everything was pretty much the same. And to be honest, outside of Crystal Disk Mark um, scores, there's not much real life difference, um, especially for most people. Even game load times, Primo Cache plus um, SSD speed on a hard drive is basically almost the same as SSDs. Texture loading is a problem. Um, game loading times is just a little bit longer and you can wait for at least a couple more seconds, four seconds maybe. And I do edit a lot of videos. I do freelance editing and I do create these videos for my for my channels, two channels, personal and this unfiltered Bits channel. And I edit on both 1080p, 2K, and sometimes even at 4K. And when rendering a video, when putting it straight to an SSD, it's much faster when only if I'm rendering 4K. But if I'm rendering 2K or 1080p, putting it directly to the hard drive is never a bottleneck for me. And those videos, by the way, run into around 50 megabits per second of bitrate and SSDs and the hard drive um, accelerated with an SSD or RAM is pretty much just the same. So yeah that's basically my thoughts you've seen the numbers you've seen or you've heard my comment earlier now if you do have any questions you can comment them down comment section below and hopefully i can make a video like this some other time again um using different components maybe and maybe you can see the difference between that video in the future and this video as of the moment that i uploaded i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for coming with me in this little experiment